Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear to me, O God, are your friends. I hold them in the highest honor. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dear to me, O God, are your friends. I hold them in the highest honor. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that following the example of your servant, James the Just, brother of our Lord, your church may give itself continually to prayer and to the reconciliation of all who are at variance and enmity. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Now I want you to understand, brothers and sisters, the good news that I proclaim to you which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which, you all, which, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. You shall make them princes over all the earth. They will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another, O Lord. In place of fathers, O king, you shall have sons. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Alleluia. Alleluia. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue so that they were astounded and said, where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power? Is not this the car carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their own country and in their own house. And he did not do many deeds of power there, because of their unbelief. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Today is the Feast of St. James, who has various bits added to his name. By tradition, he was called St. James the Less, but that doesn't seem very kind. So he's called St. James the Just, or St. James of Jerusalem, or St. James the Brother of Jesus, just to distinguish him from the other one. It is pretty clear he was not the other one. There, there is a, another James you will have heard of in the, in the Gospel, who is the brother of John, and they're both the sons of Zebedee. And they were the ones who were in the boat, who ran away from their father and followed Jesus and left their father in the lurch, um, who then have a fairly active career in the Gospels and are able to even have a speaking part. This poor James doesn't ever get to do or say anything. It seems pretty clear they chose this reading for the Gospel today and the, for that matter the, the lengthy quotation from St. Paul simply because it mentions his name. It's kind of sad. 
What we do think we know, though, is that he ended up as a fairly prominent person in the, the, the broader sort of world of, of the church in Jerusalem. Somehow he ended up as first a leader of the church in Jerusalem and then as the leader of the church in Jerusalem. <clears throat> as the other flashier, more colorful followers of Jesus sort of scattered everywhere around the Mediterranean and by tradition as far as Persia and India and Ethiopia and who knows where else, James seems to have stayed in Jerusalem and led and organized the church. It was to James that Paul went when he returned from one of his missionary trips, or indeed probably more than one of his missionary trips, and James who advised him on how best to solidify the gains he had made. It was James who spoke up when Gentile Christians began to be more prominent in the church and more prevalent in the church, saying that they should not have to follow all of the rules that Jew Jewish Christians did in order to be Christian, and that ends up the way that we live now. It's for that reason that I think, although the, the people who chose the gospel reading for this day did it just because it mentions the name James, by accident or maybe by divine providence stuck in there, I think is something that really is relevant to him, to the day, and to us. What struck me when I read it, getting ready for today, was that line, a prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. I think in some ways that's speaking to poor James and what he was trying to do, trying to be an organizer, trying to be the one who held things together. There is a kind of prophecy in that. Now, normally we think of prophecy as being criticism of the world and its conditions, but simply being the one who holds things together the one who makes sure that the, the, the sign-up sheets are put out and are adequately filled up is in a way also a form of, of exercising a form of prophecy, saying that in fact the way the kingdom of God will work will involve a certain level of organization. It will involve doing the boring stuff that makes it all work. It will involve being the one who holds the home front together so that those who go out and use themselves up in the service of the mission of God, the purposes of God, have some place to come back to and be refreshed. <clears throat> I think that was James. I think for many, many of us, the, the, the purpose of today, what we should see this as a feast day for, is the doers of sign-up sheets. Those who make sure that the flowers are arranged, those who make sure that the coffee is made, those who make sure that all those little jobs get done. So the saints of God who come here and to other places like here, millions of places like here, around the world and all through time, have that place to come back to, to be refreshed, to be renewed, to be ready to go out again. So St. James is our model, we who keep the lights on and keep the roof up, we who make sure the bulletins get printed, we who make sure that the committee meetings happen and the endless details of making sure that things continue to run happen, and who recognize in that our own prophetic work, our own statement to the world about what it means to be a community of believers that continues to happen here and around the world is only by the grace of God and by the inspiration that is put into so many hearts. So today we thank God for St. James and for all those who continue to do what he did, continue to make sure that places like this are here one more day, one more week, one more Sunday. Amen. Now let us pray. <clears throat> God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Holy, Blessed, and Glorious Trinity, from all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all evil intent. The Lord from sloth, worldliness, and love of money, 
from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. <clears throat> from sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death, and at the day of judgment. Hear our prayers, O Lord our God. Govern and direct your holy church, fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. Enlighten Kevin, our bishop, and all who minister with knowledge and understanding that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. Give your people grace to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. <clears throat> bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen, and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Guide the leaders of the nations into the ways of peace and justice. Endue all our elected leaders with wisdom and understanding. Here I ask your prayers especially for all those who are running for public office this year. Bless those who administer the law that they may uphold justice, honesty, and truth. <clears throat> give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all creation yes. bless and keep all your people yes. bring your joy into all families strengthen and deliver those in childbirth watch over children and guide the young Bring reconciliation to those in discord and peace to those in stress. Yes. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved, and the oppressed. Lord, Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in danger. Lord, we remember especially Adam, Alex, Annie, Ben, Bob, Bradley, Brett, Brian, Charlie, Christy, Duncan, Grace, James, Jeremy, Joe, Josh, Kagan, Kate, Kathy, Kevin, Luke, Marvin, Matthew, Nate, Nicholas, Stacy, Stuart, Tina, Troy, Tyler, and Victoria. <clears throat> Heal the sick in body and mind and provide for the homeless, the hungry, and the destitute. Lord, have mercy. Pour out your mercy on all who have been entrusted to our prayers. Lord, have mercy. Here, I ask your prayers for our sister Kristen and her continuing process of discernment and for those who have been entrusted to our prayers here, Adele, Andrea, the Archer family, Austin and Chrissy, Barbara, Beth, Bernice, Betty, the Blackman family, Bob, the Brennan family, Brighton, the Carew family, Carl, Carol, Carolyn, Kathy, Cecily, Charles, Charlie, Charlie and Ellen, Chris, Christine, Christine and Eric, Christine and Francis, Chuck and Paula, Claire, Clove and Jamie, Cole, Connie, Court, D, Dana, Daphne, Dave, Denise, Dennis, Devon, Diane, Elaine, Elmer, 
Emily, Eric, Aaron and family, Aaron, Flora, Frank, Fred and Lori, Freddie, George, Gina, Giorgio and family, Glenn, the Harrison family, Janice, Jean and Richard, Jenny, Jim, John, Johnny, Judy, June, Karen, Carrie, Kate, Catherine, Kelly, Krista, the Lane family, Larry, Laura, Lisa, Liz, Lorraine, Mike and Martha, <coughs> Marge, Margie, Maria, Marion and family, Martha, Mary, Marianne and Bob, Matt, Michael, Morgan and family, the Mullins family, Nancy, Pam, Patty and David, Paula, Phil, the Potts family, Renata, the Richardson family, Rick, Ricky, Robert, Roxana, Sarath, Sh Shannon, Sharon, Shirley, Sandra, Sophia and family, Sophie, the South family, Stacy and family, Stephen, Sue, Susan and family, Teresa, Thomas, Vicky, and Walony. Are there others? <clears throat> Show your pity on pres prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble. Forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and turn their hearts. Lord. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, especially those who have gone before us in this church, those we remember today, those who have confessed the faith, and those whose faith is known to you alone, and grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please be seated. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. Blessed are you, O Lord God, ruler of the universe, that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O Lord God, ruler of the universe, that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us and together with them receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.